Hey guys, it is me, Hepasarik, and welcome back to our free-to-play series in Last on Earth Survival. So our account keeps getting stronger and stronger, richer and richer. We already have almost this entire chest full of guns, but we still have one more problem, and that is our chopper. We still need a lot of items to assemble our chopper. And now I'm gonna ask you a simple question. What is the best place to get chopper parts? Yes, indeed, your answer is 100% correct. It's Bunker Alpha, and that is why today we're gonna be clearing Bunker Alpha, but I also think we're gonna go to the hard mode third floor, as I want to find the blind one and maybe that way we're gonna get 10 red tickets as i don't think we even fought the blind one yet in this account so hey i'd like to show you that it's still possible to go and kill the blind one for those who don't know this is where you can activate the hard mode but we're not activating the hard mode yet i'd love to go at least and clear the third floor first and who knows maybe by the time we clear the third floor and get enough items to open up green orange and red crate because for those who don't know you can get a chopper gas tank not only from a red crate but also from this orange crate over here so hey, who knows hopefully i'll open up all three crates today and maybe maybe Today we're gonna get that gas tank and after that we only need to get like what some engine parts and that's it We're gonna get our chopper choppers are extremely easy to assemble Then probably the next second vehicle that we're gonna assemble is going to be the boat And then the third vehicle that is available in the game is ATV But I don't know if we're ever going to assemble it I do have the ATV in my main account, but here it's gonna take us probably over a year to get it But I, I'm getting way ahead of myself first of all Let's try to assemble that chopper and let's not think about anything else and hey check this out We already had 20 orange tickets and a 13 green but before we do anything else let's also get to the skill point let's get the lucky perk so another tip and trick that i can give you about these skills always max out one skill if it's possible so check this out here i can max out the lucky skill so i'm maxing it out this way there are less skills to choose from so that means you're increasing your chances of getting an extra pocket or burglar perk or whatever other better skill so hey, let's open up the door and let's start fighting these zombies. can i hide behind the wall obviously not obviously not obviously not i could probably run down there wait 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 i don't have a lot of healing items so i shouldn't be like oh it's whatever i can suck up the damage no we're not soaking up the damage that's it those days are over. We are peasants. 100% peasants. As peasants as we can get. You know what? Becoming a peasant is kind of addictive. I really didn't think about it, but playing as a peasant in this account is kind of fun. Playing like this in my main account isn't really that much fun because I've wall tricked there enough. I've done enough bunker alphas, and most of the time when I'm playing there, it's just more fun to use your guns. But here, when we don't have any guns, when we don't have everything, when every healing item is useful, I think it's kind of fun to wall trick. I'm not gonna lie. It is fun to wall trick. Maybe after a while, it gets annoying. I'm not gonna lie but so far i am really enjoying these free-to-play series and if you're enjoying them as well smash that like button on the video to see more free-to-play stuff so now i'm gonna go to the top and i'll try to sneak attack this toxic spitter but i'm not gonna use my crowbar i'm gonna get the skull crusher i'll attack it like this here but we've done over 100 damage now we're gonna damage this toxic abomination and again we could go and wall trick it to be absolute peasants but again we don't have to do it everywhere and all the time okay we've gotten an orange ticket from the toxic bomb here we've gotten a green ticket Let's heal up a bit. I'm gonna open up the door. I'll aggro all of them and I'll try to go and hide here behind the wall if that is going to be possible. Alrighty, all of them are very close to me. I do not like that. Can I kind of wall trick them? Perhaps, perhaps. I have no idea what I'm even doing, but I somehow, some way, we are wall tricking them and I think that's all what matters. Alrighty, so we're done with the toxic bomb. Let's deal with that toxic spitter. Okay, that was just probably a simple zombie and we've gotten zero tickets from them. That's a bit sad. And even though with wall tricking, I've already used 10 beans. That is that's a lot of beans. Just as I said, the biggest bottleneck for me in this account are the healing items. As to get those healing items, you have to go and farm. And as I said many times, I'd rather do anything else in this game rather than farm. But I am gonna let this frenzy giant come a bit a bit closer. And can we wall trick it from over here? Uh, hello, hello. Yes, somehow, somehow we can wall trick. I could even let it a bit closer. Check this out. We can let the frenzy... Oh, no! That is maybe a bit too close to my liking. I know, everything's fine. Everything's all right. <laughs> somehow, some way, it still works, and I like that. Also, some people still think, Sayak, wall trick works only on your account. No, wall trick works on every account. You just need to practice a bit after you learn how to do it, after you figure out all the nuances. I'm pretty certain you're gonna get rich in the game as well and as i said many times wall tricking isn't a necessity if you want to get rich you can get rich without the wall trick but obviously with wall tricking you can get richer much much faster like for example by fighting this frenzy giant we could use a gun to kill this frenzy giant and that would be much much easier or you could use your crowbar to kill that frenzy giant and technically it's almost free to kill this frenzy giant as you can go in the stone locations you can farm some iron you can kill a couple of deer to get leather and boom you can craft that crowbar and you can basically get the iron and other 
resources for free. You don't have to waste any guns. Obviously, that costs your time, but I, I'm just saying that wall checking is a nice way to get richer faster. So yeah, I don't think wall checking is the only way for you to get rich, but wall checking is absolutely going to make you rich faster. Alrighty, there's a toxic spitter. I'm going to get back my skull crusher. Let's get it and finally at least one more ticket. We've gotten a green one, so that's 17 green tickets. I'll kill this toxic spitter again. We could run to the top and do the wall check, but we don't care about it. Let's get that and let's try to pop one more frenzy giant. So I'm gonna hide here behind the wall and we'll do the good old usual wall <laughs> trick. Alrighty, after forever and a little bit, we are gonna put this frenzy giant to sleep and luckily we've gotten zero damage. The sad part is that we haven't gotten a red ticket. We've only gotten an orange ticket, but again, that's better than no tickets at all. Which frenzy giants always drop a ticket, no? Yeah, frenzy giants probably always drop a ticket. Either that'd be orange or red ticket. Let's get a pipe real quick. Go and deal with those toxic spitters. I wish the wall trick would have worked better on these toxic spitters, but again, I didn't really bother that much. We could have just re-entered, blah, blah, blah. But if it doesn't work on the first try, I'm just going to deal with them. I think this way I save more healing items, maybe. Triple question mark. Doesn't really matter. Alrighty, so here I'm going to equip once again my Skull Crusher, and that is where we're going to fight the blind one. But to fight the blind one, we need to activate the hard mode bunker. And we're going to do that a bit later after we are done with this third floor. So we killed one Toxic Spitter. Let's deal with the Toxic Abomination real quick. So here we go. We're going to put this Toxic Bomb to sleep. Are we going to get another ticket? Yes, another orange ticket. Here we've got a red ticket from the Toxic Spitter. That's very rare. But sometimes you do get it. It's not the first time where we get those red tickets from Toxic Spitters. Occasionally we get them, but most of the time we don't. Already saw. I already used all of my beans. Let's try to use probably my carrots then. Hopefully I'll have enough items for the blind one enough healing items that is let's go to the top let's try to get a skull crusher let's attack that toxic abomination let's hide behind the wall i'm gonna let them come a bit a bit closer and i'm pretty certain i already spoke about this but you don't really have to fight the blind one if you do not want to as fighting the blind one just speeds up your process you're sacrificing your guns to get some armor and more chopper parts so that is why we're gonna kill the blind one but if you have all the time in the world it's just probably better to clear the second and third floor all the time without fighting the blind one. But uh, we do not have all the time in the world, so I'd love to go and fight that blind one. Once again, let's fight one more Frenzy Giant. So I'm gonna get here a crowbar. And one more shot and one more shot. And that's it, Frenzy Giant is dead. Go on, a red ticket. Yes, we've gotten a red ticket. So we have 14 red. I'd love to get at least 20 red tickets today. Would be nice to get those 20 red tickets without even going to the second floor as this way we can open up a red crate as we can go and kill the blind one, get 10 extra tickets and that's it. And check this out. We've gotten a Glock in this chest, which is very, very cool. And probably I'm gonna use Glocks to kill Frenzy Giants as I don't think I have a single shotgun in this account here. Maybe I had some shotguns but i've lost them and check this out in another chest we've gotten some rations let's get them let's get some rubber parts some aluminum wires Alrighty, we're gonna activate this terminal to proceed further but let's not forget to clear this room as well let's gather oops 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 let's gather all of these zombies and nice they are kind of synchronized so we can wall trick them easily this place is gonna have a lot of wall tricking check this out we've just wall tricked the toxic abomination now we have to go and wall trick this frenzy giant let's try to sneak attack this frenzy giant which again i hate sneak attacking it doesn't always work especially with the skull crusher can i come any closer from over here. I'm gonna get attacked. Yes, of course. I got punched in the face. Oopsies. Oopsies. D do not like that. I do know that it's much easier to sneak attack them with a saw blade mace. After whatever update long ago, a few years ago, they ruined sneak attacking. So now frenzy giants slap you right away in the face. Before you could sneak attack them much, much easier with saw blade maces. Now, even with the saw blade mace, it's quite hard to sneak attack them. All I know is that you have to be in a perfect range with the saw blade mace and then you'll be able to sneak attack that frenzy giant. But hey, all this stuff doesn't matter. We've got another orange ticket, which is cool and all, but I'd like to get a red one. And hey, check this out. We already at 26 orange and 23 green. So that means we can open up a green and orange crate and we are going to open up that red crate today, no matter what. So we're going to open up triple the crate. We're going to open up three crates and maybe that's going to be even the first time when we open up three crates at the same time because last time when I tried to open up crates, I was only able to open up green and orange and the next day we opened up a red crate. So today's going to be the first time when we open up three crates at the same time. Hopefully today's the day. Also, another tip and trick that I can give you about wall tricking is pay attention on when your weapon's going to break because sometimes when your weapon breaks, your character is going to use his fists and fists have a lot shorter range. So sometimes your character is just going to charge towards that blind one, uh, towards the towards the frenzy giant, excuse me. And then you're gonna get slapped in the face. So be careful here. I'm gonna get a skull crusher and somehow somebody we're gonna wall trick this dude with a skull crusher. Here go, it works wonders. It works pretty nice. Sleep, sleep now. We're gonna get a red ticket. That's nice. So we have 15 red. 
And obviously we cannot open up that chest. We need burglar skill level three. Let's sneak attack this guy. I don't think we'll be able to sneak attack Toxic Spitter. You need a saw blade mace here to sneak attack them. Kiko. That did not work. Alrighty, let's try to fight them. Have no idea why on earth I'm fighting them with my skull crusher here. Get the pipe, idiot! Okay, go, let's kill that. And obviously I'm gonna go and loot the vending machine. And inside of this vending machine, we're gonna get a little bit of canned food and some bottles of water. So I'm gonna use that canned food to restore some of my health. And check this out. We are getting more and more green and more orange, even though we don't need them. But we're gonna use those tickets for the next bunker alpha run. So sometimes you won't even have to clear your bunker alpha fully. Once you... Oh, no. Once you get enough of your tickets, you'll be able to open up a free green crate or a free yellow crate even without clearing that bunker alpha and maybe you're gonna get lucky enough and you'll be able to raid after you reach like level 150 and you'll get lucky enough to get a raid with the hundreds and hundreds of green or yellow tickets just as i have gotten such raids on my main account so now I have like hundreds of hundreds of green and orange tickets and I kind of don't even have to clear Bunker Alpha again. I can just log into Bunker Alpha whenever just to open up a couple of green and orange tickets. But red tickets are much harder to get. You don't really get hundreds of red tickets during raids. So you still will have to clear Bunker Alpha for those red tickets. But hey, green tickets and yellow tickets aren't that bad. Speaking of red tickets... Please, French Giant, drop me one more red ticket. So I'm going to let this French Giant come a bit closer here, but that's perfect. And uh, let's go. Let's wall check it. So I'm probably going to save up that pipe for other zombies. And I will use this Skull Crusher on the wall trick. And a skull, a, the Skull Crusher is kind of nice to wall trick. Even though, as I said, it is kind of hard to wall trick with the Skull Crusher as it's a bit slower. But it does 45 damage each hit. And we have leveled up. Anything useful? Yikes, let's get the logger perk, whatever. Let's increase the level in that logger perk. But at least we've gotten a red ticket, so 16 red. And some of you might be wondering why on earth I'm clearing the third floor and not the second floor. Well, first of all, I just don't feel like clearing the second floor. And second of all, there are many more frenzy giants on the third floor rather than the second floor. As my plan was to clear only one floor in Bunker Alpha. And if I want to clear only one floor, I always choose the third floor. As third floor has higher frenzy giant count. And frenzy giants equal red tickets. Okay, I'm gonna get another Skull Crusher here. Let's go, let's try to wall trick this guy. And after we break this Skull Crusher, probably I'm gonna use my shovels. Look at that, how quickly we're wall tricking this frenzy giant with the Skull Crusher. Let's go, let's get my shovel. I have no idea where we've gotten these shovels. Probably from the police department. Let's get that. Oh, and maybe today, if I don't forget, we're gonna go to police department because police department is reset. So maybe we can open up at least a couple of brown. As I said, we don't have to open up green cards there all the time. And another red ticket. So yeah, we don't have to open up green cards there all the time. But at least opening up a few brown cards is still gonna be better than opening up nothing. So let's get this. We're gonna get another orange ticket. So we're already at 30 orange. Let's get one more fancy giant. And let's go. Let's try to wall trick him with our good old shovel. Which again, shovel is a nice tool to wall trick them. But it's much easier to wall trick Frenzy Giants with faster weapons such as crowbars. As the longer you have to wait for your weapon to attack, like for example, the shovel the shovel here, the higher the chance that Frenzy Giant is gonna slap you. But to be honest, I quite enjoy shovels. Shovels are kind of great. They're better than crowbars, obviously, in wall tricking as you just do more damage per hit. And here go, let's deal with that Frenzy Giant. We've gotten another red, 18 red, so please give me two more red and I won't have to step foot in the second floor and then we can just go and kill the blind one. Obviously, if you want to get rich faster, then clear the second floor, please, because the second floor has a lot of other basic zombies, plus you can get more orange, more green, more red tickets there. So do clear second floor, but for the sake of keeping these videos a bit shorter, we are not <laughs> clearing the second floor here today, so let's attack that toxic abomination. Let's go to the tippity top, hide behind the wall donut and let's go let's try to wall trick them somehow some way all right somehow some way we wall trick them we had to use a little bit of healing items but hey that's all right we still use less healing items than fighting all of those three zombies at the same time so far zero green excuse me no red tickets from those zombies but again we're gonna get those two right if we don't get enough red tickets here we are gonna get those red tickets from the second floor but i'd rather not go there we've gotten another orange ticket more glue that i'm gonna take and more batteries as i said those batteries are gonna be required to recycle them later for copper Let's heal with carrots. Do I have anything else to take with me? I might just restore my health with those beans. And let's do a sneak attack with the skull crusher. And let's get the pipe here. Here we go. Let's get the pipe to attack this toxic abomination a bit, a bit faster. Here we go. Got him. A red ticket. Yes, I just wanted to say perhaps a red ticket. And we have indeed gotten a red ticket. Let's open up this door. We're going to get here a skull crusher. And I'm going to attack this Toxic Abomination. So first of all, my goal is to try to reach the end of the bunker. So that in case I lose my armor, in case I ever need guns, or in case I need to run away, I can always exit Bunker Alpha. And then we can go and loot some other rooms. 
So let's deal with the Toxic Spitter. No tickets from these two zombies. But hey, let's activate the terminal. Bam, the floor is open. We still have some armor, but probably to kill the blind one, we will have to bring different armor. So I have to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna heal up with our good old beans. I'm gonna get this Toxic Abomination and here we go. There are two Frenzy Giants and hopefully some of those Frenzy Giants are gonna drop me at least one red ticket. And then we can go and kill the blind one for the first time ever in this account and we can open up all three crates at the same time. Be super rich. That's gonna be amazing. Here go, Toxic Bomb is dead and no tickets! I could try and sneak attack this Frenzy Giant, but I'm not gonna bother about it. As I said, I'd rather save my healing items. Here we're gonna let him come closer, schmuck. Here, that's much better. Alrighty, my Skull Crusher broke, so probably I'm gonna start using my shovel. Alrighty, Frenzy Giant's dead. Please, a red ticket. Yes, we've gotten a red ticket, so we have 20 red. As I said, I suggest you to clear the second and third floor fully, as this way you'll be able to progress through the game much, much faster. But I don't want to go and fight the blind one now, so let's activate here the hard mode bunker. So we have to wait now for two days until bunker alpha resets. It all depends on when your bunker alpha resets. As soon as your bunker alpha resets, that's it. Hard mode bunker is going to deactivate, and then you'll have to activate it once again if you want to ever do hard mode bunker again. But before we go and fight that blind one, we have to prepare. So let's get different armor. And obviously, we'll have to get some guns because in hard mode bunker, there are going to be harder zombies. And plus, I don't have a lot of healing items because you can fight the blind one with melee weapons, but I am going to save them. So let's take a couple of guns here as I brought them today from the base. I'm going to take all of these guns. It's fine. The more, the better. I'm going to take a brand new armor. Hopefully, that is going to be enough. And welcome to the third floor hard mode. And another smart thing that I should have done was probably to leave those tickets somewhere in a locker up there because if you're gonna die in the blind one's room, it's gonna be hard to access your body. But hey, I'm hoping that we're not gonna die. Let's take this gun. We could wall trick them here. I'm probably gonna try to wall trick at least with guns. Go on, go on. Stop, 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 stop attacking me. You see how much damage they're doing? All right, I'm gonna wall trick them with guns here. And here we go. There's this floater bloater. If you please, you can go and wall trick this floater bloater with your melee but i'm probably i'm just gonna break this melee weapon and i'm gonna save my other melee weapons for more normal bunker alpha runs as i don't have a lot of melee weapons i need to go and farm for some more iron to craft more crowbars so let's take here this m16 and let's sort of fight with this floater bloater so as you can see just to even reach that blind one you're required to use some guns or some melee weapons so that's why I said that, hey, killing the blind one is uh, kind of cool, but if you have all the time in the world, it's probably more efficient to just clear the second and third floor constantly without killing the blind one. Hey, let's loot the locker here. We're gonna get some more healing items, more food. For those who don't know, you can use these ID tags. Also, we can get chevrons and notebooks, and you can exchange them at the specialist, and then you can get floppy crates or some whatever other miscellaneous rewards. Okay, so this M16 also has a leg shot, so that's gonna slow down the zombies, but it doesn't really matter. Let's get a katana. I'm gonna attack it once. I'll get back my M16. I'll use that leg shot for the memes. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Let's deal with that toxic spitter. And here we go. There's the exploder. If, as I said, if you please, you can even wall trick that exploder. I'm going to heal up. I'm gonna get uh, my bandages now. We're gonna start healing up with bandages. I'll get a Glock. And let's go. I'm gonna try to wall trick at least this exploder with my Glocks just to not get damage. So even though we might not be wall tricking with melee weapons, because I don't have infinite amount of melee weapons, but we can still wall trick with guns, and we can this way we can save some armor or whatever. We can hide behind the wall to hide from the explosion, but be aware of these parasites, as they do a lot of damage. I'm not 100% certain how much damage they do, but they do a lot of damage. So be careful, and don't soak up their damage. Just avoid them. Alrighty, more toxic spitters. Can I attack them? Through the wall. Yes. We can wall trick them. Go on, silly willy toxic. This is not a wall trick. This is definitely not a wall trick. They're attacking me left and right. I don't even know if that wall trick worked. But at least maybe a little bit. Okay, so there's that frenzy giant, but we're not killing him. I am going to avoid that frenzy giant. Let's open up another door. Let's deal with these toxic spitters. Oh, wow. They're doing lots of damage. I'm going to try to once again hide behind the wall. I have no idea how it's going to work. I have no idea what I'm doing. Somehow, some way hiding from these zombies. That's it. Got all of them. Are we going to get more hard mode items? Yes, we've gotten now a chevron. Let's heal up with another bandage. And oops, <laughs> it didn't mean to get damaged by that gas. And let's go. and Let's fight our first ever blind one in this account. Let's activate here the terminal. So I love using my tactical set for the blind one as the blind one's gonna attack you five times, then he's gonna charge, then he's gonna get stunned on the wall, and we're gonna attack him as that's when you do the highest amount of damage. Well, you're gonna see everything, but I love to use first aid kits for that and my tactical set and numbers around. You cannot mess this thing up. Say, so let's eat with some beans. Okay, we've eaten some beans. We healed up with beans. 
Let's get inside of the room and check this out. Now I'm gonna wait until I get five five hits. One, two, three, four, five. We've gotten around 100 damage. I'm gonna go over here. And as soon as he gets stunned, we are gonna start attacking him here with a Glock. I love using shotguns, but I don't have any shotguns. So as soon as his health drops below 700, he's gonna start healing up. And then we're gonna activate this emergency alarm. So check this out. I am going to heal up. I'm gonna extend here now a bit closer to the emergency alarm. Let's attack him here like this. My one of the guns broke. Let's attack him here again. And uh, check this out. He's still not healing up. So it's much harder to kill him with the Glock. Well, maybe not much, much harder, but it just takes more time. So I check this out. We are attacking him here. The health dropped below 700. So now he's going to go and heal up. I'm activating the first alarm. This way I prevent him from healing up. Activate it only when he starts eating. So now he's going to eat at the second spot when his health drops below 400. Here you go once again. Another shot. I'm healing up with the first aid kit. Hiding behind the wall and attacking the blind. You can also use here your melee weapons. But for melee weapons, you require more healing items, more armor. And you know what? I'm just going to use that block here just for the sake of killing him. But it is possible to use your melee weapons. I can even show you that it's probably possible. Let's go. Let's get a katana. And yeah, don't step on that thing when he's attacking you. Or you'll instantly die. Okay, let's get back this. If you have a lot of melee weapons, you can even attack him during this fight. Even though you're gonna kind of waste your melee weapons. But if you have a lot of them, you can use them. Okay, dokie. We're gonna attack the blind one. Now he's going to heal. Because his health dropped below 400. He got activated in the perfect moment. And that's it. He has only 368 health. I'm gonna let him attack me here once again. I've healed up. Uh, let's go. Let's fight him. Probably my stuff is going to break. Let's get a katana. Let's do a couple of hits with a katana. I'm going to soak up some more damage. And somehow, some way we're dealing with them. Again, my favorite weapon, as I said, are shotguns. Shotguns kind of do a lot of damage to the blind one. You kill him a lot, a lot faster, especially with modern shotguns. But blocks are going to do the job. Your melee weapons are going to do the job. I'm just here to show you ways of killing him. And you can decide and experiment there yourself. Alrighty, couple of more shots. Go on, go on, go on. We're still not gonna kill him. He's still gonna have a little bit of health left. See, I'm just gonna soak up some extra damage. I'm gonna use one more first aid kit. So I've used 10 first aid kits to kill the blind one. That's kind of a lot of first aid kits with better guns. You could kill him a bit faster. Maybe even with katanas, we would have killed him faster. But hey, we killed the blind one. We have leveled up. We've got a bunch of a bunch of experience. Let's choose a skill. Another logger skill or lumberjack. I mean, doesn't really matter. We can get this. And let's loot the blind one. And check this out. We've gotten 10 red tickets. We've also gotten the big bones. For those who don't know, you can use those big bones to craft some sort of spear mods. Some whatever other mods. And those whatever other mods include pipe mods. But other than that, those big bones are kind of useless. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not clearing any other rooms. As it is pointless to go and clear them if you're not planning to get any floppy crates. And I'm not planning to get anything. I'm just saving up my guns. So let's go here. Let's go to the first floor. And I'm so excited to open up green, orange, and red crate. All of them at the same time. And if we're going to get a gas tank today, I'm going to be extremely happy. Because that means our chopper is going to be almost over. But again, something tells me we're not going to get that chopper gas tank today. As during my other free-to-play accounts or during my other accounts, I've gotten the chopper gas tank really, really early in the game. And I know if the same thing is going to happen here, probably I've ran out of luck. I don't know, but let's talk to the specialist and here we can give him these items to check this out. I've given him this and we have leveled up just a tiny bit. So technically you don't even have to do the hard mode bunker all the time on purpose to get like that floppy crate or these other rewards here. All you have to do is just keep killing the blind one and little by little you are going to progress further your reputation with that specialist. But all of that stuff doesn't matter, baby. Let's open up the green tickets. So let's open up the green crate. Here go the green crate slot rolling. Let's open up the orange crate. The orange crate is rolling. And let's open up the best crate here, the red crate. So inside of the green crate, we are going to get a Glock and sadly only a golf club. But we have gotten a little bit of healing items and that is pretty much it. Inside of the orange crate, go on something useful nothing absolutely nothing useful we have gotten an engine part and also for those newcomers and whatever if you're interested about this truck wheel it doesn't do anything the truck wheel is not in the game well at least at the moment of recording this video this truck wheel doesn't do anything but hey here we've gotten a glock and an ak 
At least we've gotten a ch chopper engine part. But that's it. Are we gonna get here anything useful? No, 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 no! No chopper gas tank, but however, we have gotten a chopper fork, which we already have, so <laughs> it is useless. But hey, at least we've gotten some more engine parts and some more guns. And just as I said, let's go to that police department. Let's open up a couple of crates. So I have already taken with me two green, the two brown cards. And who knows, maybe we're gonna get one more brown today. You know what? Golf clubs are nice for wall tricking. I've just realized golf clubs are gonna do more damage than crowbar. So I can use golf clubs to wall trick on Frenzy Giants. That's pretty cool. That's another reason for you to get some more brown crates if you cannot get green crates. Just as me here, I'm not planning to get any green crates. Even though green crates are nice, but brown crates are really awesome as well because they're super, super easy to get. The silly hungry chomper is gonna be a bit annoying. I'm gonna try to wall trick him here with this door. This door is kind of cool. I'd say this is the best place to wall trick zombies in police department. I have no idea. I'm pretty certain a lot of you maybe already knew this, but I, we figured that out in the previous episode and I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a nice place to door trick. Let's go got him and finally we've gotten a brown crate so sayonara let's go here let's open up those three brown cards uh one two three and what we're gonna get inside of them so inside of the first crate we're gonna get a first aid kit and another golf club to wall trick here we're gonna get a hockey stick to wall trick and another first aid kit and here we're gonna get another golf club well not that many items but hey that's at least something i'm probably gonna just take everything and i'll try to fill up these terminals here, but that's better than nothing. So, hey, let's just check it out my God of War Let's Play. Click on the second card and you'll go to my State of Decay 2 Let's Play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.